we are introducing the best 10 free classics PC games that you can download to your computer or play in your browser. One of the most beloved PC titles of all time, Half-Life 2 picks up a few years after the events of Half-Life, with the ever-silent Gordon Freeman waking up find that the alien threat from the first game has triumphed. Freeman joins the Resistance, gets a bunch of cool guns to play with, and even meets a robot dog, the pet of his companion, Alex Vance. It seems like an age since the game released, and as much as the community has been clamoring for Half-Life 3, it doesn't look like one is on the way anytime soon. As you'd expect, there are a plethora of mods for the title, meaning that you can boot it up and enjoy a playthrough without risking taking an eye out on all those janky pixels. This underscore spell underscore map underscore looms large over the gaming industry with its historical significance, financial success and surprising longevity. World of Warcraft is set within the world of Azeroth, established in Blizzard's hit war game franchise. The real draw of World of Warcraft, like any MMO, is its appeal as an online hub filled with people to meet and things to do. Featuring thousands of quests, hundreds of regions, dozens of organizations and numerous expansions, World of Warcraft is a titan in the underscore spell uh, underscore book underscore field. The Tribe series of first-person shooters has a well-deserved reputation for mobile, dynamic combat, featuring vehicles, jetpacks, and a wide array of science fiction weapons to dish out far future punishment against other players. The latest iteration of the franchise, Tribes Ascend, is free to play on Steam right now, but the older games are also available for free at Tribes. The OG underscore spell underscore map underscore EverQuest is free to play. The predecessor to World of Warcraft is still a blast to play even though the graphics are subpar by today's standards. The game still has a strong, devoted, and welcoming player base that makes the game very accessible to new players. Even though the game came out almost 20 years ago, Daybreak is still releasing updates and expansions to keep its loyal player base happy. Developed by Revolution, best known for Broken Sword, this dystopian point-and-click adventure was co-created with Watchmen artist Dave Gibbons. It's an enjoyable adventure, with clever puzzles that make use of the hero's body-switching robotic sidekick. City? 
It's day. Star Wars, The Old Republic is the MMO version of the Knights of the Old Republic series. Despite the fact that it's an old MMO with a much smaller player base, the main quests and content are now available for free, there used to be a subscription for the game. The game itself is quite fun and does the Star Wars saga justice. Wolfenstein 3D is a PC classic and rightly regarded as the grandfather of the massively popular first-person shooter genre. Players step into the shoes of allied spy BJ Blazkowicz as you fight your way past your Nazi captors in order to escape the prison of Castle Wolfenstein. While it doesn't have many of the refinements of modern shooters, Wolfenstein 3D run and gun gameplay holds up well. Bethesda, which now holds the rights to the Wolfenstein games, released a free, browser-based version of the game to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Wolfenstein 3D's release. Originally released as part of the Orange Box compilation, Valve's Team Fortress 2 is a multiplayer classic, taking the cooperative class mechanics of previous Team Fortress titles and giving it a cartoony spin. The game has since gone free to play, with microtransactions for the purchase of items and customizations. While the Source engine might be showing its age, Team Fortress 2 still provides a ridiculously fun multiplayer experience with an emphasis on the absurd. And hats. Boasting a 63,000 square mile map, Vagrafall is an enormous rebounds per game set in the Breton homeland of High Rock. It features many elements that remain in the Elder Scrolls series today, including guilds, enchanting and a reputation system. It's not as accessible as Skyrim, but a great rebounds per game in its day. Launched before Activision bought Blizzard's parent company, Vivendi, StarCraft is a real-time strategy game set in the expanse of space that revolutionized the genre. Players choose one of three races and construct bases and manage resources until they get strong enough to steal everyone else's. The title was the best-selling PC game in its year of launch, and has become a cultural phenomenon in South Korea. StarCraft II, Wings of Liberty released in 2010, but the original got a spiffy remaster in 2017. Thank you for watching the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe the channel.